happy, sad, content, angry, inconvenienced, tired, horny, confused, smelly, surprised, embarrassed, bored, hard at hearing, <gasps> colorblind. Well, I think you need a cigarette. Smoking is very important to living a healthy lifestyle, or what the French call croissant. In 1189, John Cigarette changed the world by creating what we know now as the printing press, but his son, John Cigarette Jr., created the cigarette that we know, love, and pay $8 a pack for today. $8 a pack? Are you kidding me? Cigarettes are America's backbone. They've helped build this country and have meant just as much to America as John Quincy Adams' presidency. In 1774, our founding fathers typed up the Constitution. And you want to know what they did beforehand? That's right. They lit a cigarette to collectively celebrate going to war with Australia. Do you remember the War of 1813? I remember it like it was yesterday. I'm 112 years old. You can't tell? It's because I smoke. Not only does it rejuvenate the skin, but it makes me feel good. Hell, it even makes me taste good. <laughs> One out of 15 dentists recommend smoking. My dentist specifically has said that it's gotten rid of plaque buildup. Sure, he may have lost his license to practice years ago due to numerous sexual harassment claims, but who would you rather believe? The 14 other dentists that I interviewed at gunpoint? or the one that's got my family's business for the last six months. He's cheap too, he actually works on an alley behind Target. Stay on topic. All right, all right. Let's get a little in depth, shall we? If you think cigarettes are right for you, let me ask you a couple of questions. Are you a fucking loser? Do you have zero personality and or social skills? Do you scream when people try to talk to you? Oh. Uh well, do I have a solution for you? Grab a cigarette and inhale. As Captain Crunch would say, it's great! Right? If you're ugly, it makes you look cool. If you already look cool, it makes you look even cooler. It's a scientific fact. Are you hungry but you want to lose weight? Are you thirsty? Oh, what? Well. It suppresses thirst. And hey, if you're drinking tequila with it, why would I stop you? Oh, all right. Alcohol is just as cool. Who are you? <laughs> Look at the smile on this kid. It's this guy. He saw, he saw something else, doesn't he? I'm 26. This is what the American public is missing out on. People always talk about the negatives of smoking, like cancer and bad breath. But I think they're downplaying how cool you actually look when smoking. Look, I'm not telling you something you don't already know. Smoking in a car. Looks cool. Lighting a cigarette after you say something. It looks like... I didn't do my taxes this year. Looks cool. Smoking after you just dropped off your kids at a daycare center. Alright, have a nice day. Looks cool. When you add on to the fact that it cures leprosy and it's biodegradable, it's a no-brainer. Smoking is awesome. Eastern Europe gets it, right? Where's America at? They gotta step up and stop embarrassing themselves. Don't you want to look cool in front of the other countries at the UN meetings? Of course you do. Cigarettes get a bad rap, but let's be honest. These scientists are lying to you. Let me tell you something. I've done the research, okay? These numbers, they don't add up. You think the mainstream media is going to tell you the truth when they're the ones that faked the moon landing and the reviews for Forrest Gump? Exactly. They're lying to you, man. Only the cool and smart kids smoke. Why do you think I do peyote? Smoke cigarettes. Because I'm a bad motherfucker. that's why. Tell them why you have a suspended license. Shut the fuck up, man. You want to put millions of Americans out of jobs? Of course you don't. You're not a monster. Owners of tobacco companies, they got families too. Putting them out of jobs because you're against nicotine addiction and you're anti-cancer means you're anti-American, which basically means you're a fascist. Oh, what was that? You're against fascism? Now what are you doing watching this video empty-handed? Go ahead, light yourself a cigarette in the name of Uncle Sam and Ronald Reagan. It's the least you can do. Here he is, get him.
advertisement has been brought to you by Arby's. We have the meat. Thank you.